If you have ever wanted to sew a knit garment or a jumpsuit or both, you are in the right place. This is the kickoff video for my sew along for McCall's 8218. In this video, we're going to be going over just kind of the pattern itself, what you need to know about the pattern, um, some fabric options, as well as all the notions that you'll need to make this little jumpsuit as well. Before we get started, be sure to like this video so that other people will see it, subscribe and click the notification bell if you wanna get notified of the rest of the sew along when those videos go live or any of my other sewing videos. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes and of course, I love teaching you guys how to make your clothes as well especially making clothes that you love. Hence why I do this sew along. We go through every single step of the pattern together so that you get kind of like hand holding throughout the process of making this pattern. Also, this video is kindly sponsored by Alyssa. I'm be sharing a lot more about them and their brand new iron a little bit later. All right, so let's take a look at the pattern. Again, we are doing McCall's 8218. It is a Mrs. Romper jumpsuit with a sash. Um, it's described as an easy pattern, which is nice. This is knit romper and jumpsuits with gathered waist. A and B have a tie front and C has a V-neck with a sash. All right, so we're gonna go through this step by step. Let's start with the fabrication. So they're suggesting fabrics with two-way 50% stretch. They're recommending jersey, interlock, and cotton blend knits. So I went to Joanne and I took a look at some of the knit fabrics that they have there and found some that I think would be ideal for this pattern. That way, if you're gonna want to shop in person, you can go to Joanne and you can find any of these fabrics and they will be great. All right, so first up is this little knit print. Um, they had a bunch of different prints in this, but you can see that it has the drape and the weight that we are looking for. It's actually 90% rayon and 10% spandex. So a little bit lighter weight and stretchier than maybe what the pattern recommends, but I still think it would be really beautiful and would still work well as a jumpsuit. Just be a little bit lighter weight and cooler. Next up is this little cutie. I couldn't find too, too many prints of this. So this pink leopard was the best we had, but you can see it's a little less drapey than the last one. Still lightweight though. It's 94% polyester and 6% uh, spandex. You just wanna be careful here because they have another pattern that's 90% polyester and 10% spandex. That's their double brush poly. And I actually don't think that that would work well for this pattern, but this one is great. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention their pop uh, cotton spandex. So I think it's 96% cotton, 4% spandex. Um, great, stable cotton jersey. I love this fabric so much. It's actually 98 too. Um, you find it in the kids section. So you're like looking through a bunch of rainbows and unicorns, but you can also find some adult-ish looking fabric like this one. If you're shopping online, I bought my fabric from Stylemaker Fabrics. You wanna to go to their website, go to fabrics, and then we are gonna look at Jersey Knit. Then you can go through here and find um, some knits that you like, whether you want it to be solid or have a print. This midweight cotton jersey is really, really great for fall because it's like all the best of a t-shirt but a little bit thicker, which would be nice to wear this jumpsuit in the fall. You also have just that little extra bit of coverage around your bum um, if you don't like super lightweight fabrics there. Like it's a little less clingy, um, so you might like that around the curves of your body. I have also recently used this fabric here, the Moody Blooms Watercolor Brush Stroke Jersey, you guys might recognize it. This um, Moody Blooms category is actually um, a fabric produced by Moda, and they have a few different um, prints. So you can just search Moody, and anything that is in the Jersey Knit, uh, this outline, this Tonal Leaves outline, is the same fabric as the one that I used. Same thing as this here. So those are all really good options as well. Um, so yeah, go through that jersey knit category. You're looking for something that's either 100% cotton, 
or that has like a little bit of rayon blended in. Not more rayon than cotton, definitely more cotton than rayon. What you're not looking for is something super, super drapey like this rayon jersey knit. See, it just has rayon spandex in it. That is gonna be too lightweight and too drapey. The fabric that I chose is actually a French terry, which might seem a little bit odd of a choice for a jumpsuit, but the whole trend is like, what are they calling it? Luxe leisure or something like that, where it's like loungewear, but luxurious. Think of like Kim Kardashian and her Skims line. So the color that I got is rose. Is it still available? Nope, it's sold out. Bummer, that's what happens whenever I talk about fabrics before <laughs> I film these videos, I'm sorry. Um, but they do have the sage, which is really pretty. They have the denim, denim, yep, and charcoal. So all fun colors. You can see here that it's a poly rayon spandex. So it should have mostly poly, then rayon, then a little bit of spandex. They say it's got a 60% stretch. Oh, the gray is actually sold out too. My bad. So sage or denim, both really pretty. But the thing to remember about this French terry versus just like willy-nilly buying French terries off the internet is that this one is really lightweight for a terry and still has all these drapey folds in it, right? So it's not gonna be like a sweatshirt that stands away from your body. It is gonna fit closer. It's gonna kind of come in closer to my body and all of that like draping that's around that tie, all of that is still gonna be like, it's gonna lay naturally and not be like sticking away. I have been using Alisso irons forever, um, at least for the last three or more years. I have been using the pink iron that I have right there <laughs> is the TG 1600 iron. Love that iron because of the 30 minute auto shut off. Um, it has a super long, I think it's like a six foot cord, um, super hot, super steamy, but has lots of like in between options too, to where you can pick the setting that's like perfect for you. But Alyssa went and like made a whole bunch of improvements and they have just released the TG 1600 Pro Plus, which is what this is here. Super pretty, comes in the same turquoise, purple, pink, and yellow colors. And some of the improvements they made. Okay, so they developed a brand new soul plate. This one is called Diamond Ceramic Flow. Doesn't that sound just so luxurious and expensive? Um, this is supposed to glide effortlessly across all types of fabrics. It has like enhanced heat and steam distribution. And it also provides easy and quick cleanup when um, using fusibles. So think of it a little bit like a nonstick pan. It also has a rapid response steam system, which makes it steamier than it ever has been um, and makes the steam super, super hot as well. So I'm not entirely sure how they were able to make that iron better, but they did with this one here. Um, they are available now for pre-order delivering in the fall. You can check the description box for a link to get $40 off as well as free shipping. For the record, I also have their mini. How cute is the mini? Comes with this little sole plate. The large one does too. Um, and the mini is just really, really great for all those little areas that you need to press. Um, not entirely sure we'll come across any of that in this pattern, but if we do, I'll be sure to show you the mini. The mini does not lift and lower, which is why it has this really great sole plate. So you hook it on to store it, and then when you're using it, you flip it over the other way and it becomes like a trivet for it. Um, and it fits perfectly, perfectly in the trivet. Also this little thing on top, so cool whenever you go to store it. If you've seen my Instagram, you've seen this already, but when you have it stored, this is a hook to hang it on. So you know me, I'm all about organization and storage. So I love that as well. But this little guy, small but mighty, it gets hot and it gets steamy, even though it is so, so, so small. So hopefully we'll come across some areas where we'll be able to use the mini iron during the sew along. But back to the pattern, we're gonna talk about notions now. All you need 
is a uh, one and a half yards of three eighths inch elastic. If you're shopping at Stylemaker Fabrics, they sell elastic, so you can just get it all in one place. Um, it's right here under the elastic category. And then this soft knit elastic is really, really nice if you're working with knit fabrics. So you'll need one and a half yards of that, and that is it. I love that about this pattern. There's no zippers, no buttons, no closures. You just pull it on over your hips. The elastic is gonna go in the waist seam. Something to be said about waist seam elastic though, I'm actually gonna use half inch elastic. I do not like 3 8 inch elastic at my waist. It's just not enough for me. And I don't know if that is just a comfort thing, if that's because I'm at the larger size or the larger end of the size range, but I feel like I need something a little bit more substantial. All right, uh, fabric, uh, Suggestions are all here, uh, fabric recommendations. The romper is so close in yardage to the jumpsuit. This has a whole extra bodice basically on top of it. That said though, I'm doing a lot of those that said, so here's the rules, but um, think about it this way, right? If that whole extra piece is an overlay, what is underneath it, you will never see. So you could essentially use a scrap fabric that is not your expensive fashion fabric as a lining underneath, okay? No one will ever see it. Um, even the back has the overlay. Um, so if you are thinking about buying a fabric that's a little bit more expensive, maybe leave off half a yard, um, use some kind of knit lining that has, again, that same 50% stretch or more, um, and that will be a little hack to save you a little bit of money. And then you need half a yard of fusible interfacing. If interfacing just is so confusing to you, I get it. So I made a video, <laughs> Interfacing 101. It literally goes through all the types of interfacing with swatches. So you can get an idea of what interfacing is best for you and your project. So you need to find an interfacing that has a little bit of stretch to it because obviously you, this is how you're getting in and out of the garment, right? So you're stepping in through the neckline. That's how you get into jumpsuits that don't have any closures. So you need your knit interfacing to be stretch. Like you need it to move with the fabric. Um, in that video, I do talk about Trico interfacing. And so you can pay attention in that part of the video to determine um, if you want the all bias trico, the stretch trico, you know, whatever you need. But as we begin to work through the sew along, the very first video of the sew along will go up on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. And in that video, we're gonna be talking about um, pattern alterations. We'll be talking about fit a little bit. Make sure you've got the fast fit workbook completed by then. That will help you through that video. And then we're also going to cut our fabric and our pattern. If you want some help in learning some of the sewing tips and tricks that I have, um, you can download my ultimate sewing my ultimate garment sewing guide of guides. It's this guide that I put together that has seven individual guides in it. The guide on choosing the right needle will be really helpful for this project as well, but you can download it for free at the link in the description box. And in the meantime, if you're feeling antsy and you really cannot wait to start sewing with me, check out my other sew alongs. I've linked to the most recent one the button down shirt dress that I have been wearing in this video. But that is gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back for episode one of our Sew Along on Tuesday. I will see you then, probably in the meantime too. <laughs> Bye.